women how to start and run a home staging business. That's what I became an expert in. That's what I was on TV for all the time and the radio interviews and things like that. Lots of people contacting me from magazines and asking that. And I loved it. But I, I'm, I'm getting older, but um, I am getting older. And as we move along, I'm journeying along. Right? As I journey along, I was just telling a few people that I'm tired of schlepping all the furniture with the staging. I mean, you know, my husband freaks when I, I don't even tell him what I do because he does to die from some of the pianos that I move or whatever, you know. It's like, it's just what you do on a job, right? Suzanne, right, it's what you do on a job. But I don't do that anymore. I don't want to do that anymore. And all the time while I was teaching women how to start and run home staging business, I've taught over 300 women. I always coach them. So I've always been passionate about, okay, you're taking a course, but I don't want you to just stop doing what you love to do. I want you to, to if that's your passion, go ahead and follow it. So I just kind of, you know, I just want to say that things will change over time. You won't always be doing one thing. You can have a love of it, but it doesn't mean that you're going to carry it on for the rest of your life. You can also have things that are right now dormant mm -hmm. in you, and they can be dormant for just about your entire life. And then all of a sudden, <coughs> something happens. Could be like what Brett said this morning, he got cancer. A big health issue like that changed his life. So now he's focused more on philanthropic things and community, and that's just great. It's not to say he didn't have that in him, of course he did, but now he's doing it in a big way. So just know that, you know, if, even if you're doing something right now that you do love and you're kind of fading out of it, something, the universe is gonna give you something else. Mm -hmm. Right. That's a total.